still looking to be very hot outside for the next few days, which is great, especially for that Labor Day holiday. Tomorrow, if you want to head outside, it looks good. Temperatures are above normal, and just like I mentioned, still summer-like out there. We'll get a little bit more cloud cover for Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies out there then. Then our rain chances are going to go up just a tiny bit for the middle of the week. A scattered shower there on Wednesday, possibly a thunderstorm Thursday, and then more comfortable temperatures heading into Friday and next weekend. But there are some signals we could get back to summer again on the long range as well. Radar and satellite look good. Just a few high clouds out here on your Sunday night. And high pressure that I talked about is still in control, bringing in some southwesterly flow, mixing with the air in the plain states and also being just a touch humid out there with some moisture from the Gulf. Our next weather maker is a way out there back into the northwest. The cold front kind of sitting there, stalled out at this point in time, is going to move rather slowly and also combined with an upper air disturbance that could set off those shower and storm chances by the middle of the week. But your Labor Day looks really nice out there. Temperatures in the 60s early morning before the afternoon remaining dry and sunny with not much cloud cover. And our temperatures once again get up into that 90 degree range there for your Monday tomorrow as well. And rain chances. We are staying dry here for Tuesday as well. Maybe an opportunity for some clouds in the afternoon. A few more showers there for Wednesday. Those chances have gone up just a little bit, but nothing too major. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Thursday, there are the possibility for some storm chances. The severe opportunity is limited, but that will have to continue to be monitored. Then by Friday morning, early on, things clear out ahead of a dry weekend, hopefully again a week from now. So on to our future cast. We're going to expect, again, some River Valley fog early in the morning in those areas that do get down into the 60s, but it's not going to be all that widespread back in the 80s by the middle of the day and plenty of sunshine with just a few afternoon clouds on your Labor Day. Definitely a good day to jump in the pool. And Tuesday as well looking to be good. We're going to see those clouds start to build in to the southwest there by the afternoon, but temperatures still warm and toasty. Upper 80s to near 90 degrees there even into the evening. So on Wednesday, that's that little upper air disturbance starts to come into Kentucky. Could set off a few showers and storms during the early afternoon, and then that will approach us here in West Virginia by mid to late afternoon and the evening. This projection showing it's not going to be completely dry on Thursday. Even an overnight storm chance in the parts of southeastern Ohio as well early Thursday. And then the afternoon, well, this picture does show that there are the opportunities for some showers and thunderstorms around. One or two of them could be on the strong side, but for the most part, it's a limited severe threat with just a few thunderstorms out there. So Thursday could be a little bit soggy, but then our temperatures Friday start to go on to a downward trend, but still remaining seasonably comfortable. Saturday looks dry, upper 70s, an early taste of fall for next weekend. Maybe back into the 50s, into the late night hours ahead of Sunday, but still remaining sunny outside as well.